Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about how motherhood is not a convent. And so I'm gonna talk about our prayer life and how to be holy and how to really truly give everything to God while we're living our vocation. And so if you are new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you a part of this community. Thank you so much for being here and let's get into this video. So I have a funny story to share. So my children, I was telling them about um, St. Joseph Cappuccino. He is known uh, for the flying saints. You know, he was so holy and so humble that like a lot of the times he would be lifted. He would like, lift off the ground during mass he was a priest and he was actually not very um, intellectually smart at all he barely could memorize anything like he barely became a priest but it was by the grace of god that he did become a priest and anyway he was so holy that he would levitate all the time and quite often like while he was doing mass he would like levitate right off the ground and so they had to like chain him to the ground so that he wouldn't levitate so anyway i was telling my children about this saint and how amazing you know and he was known for the flying saint and he'd go around and speak quite often and stuff but anyway my <laughs> my son he's like mom have you ever levitated and i like burst out laughing so loud because i was like i don't think there's ever been a mother who has levitated because if anything children ground you so much you know like i i don't remember the last time i could like truly be in such deep prayer that i forgot where i was uh that's just something that i used to be able to do and i just can't do anymore i'm constantly like oh i hope i should i lock the door you know and heather focus and oh i hope that i remember to pack zachary you know his lunch today oh heather focus redirecting myself during prayer like that is pretty much what my prayer is these days and it's so hard there are some times that you know i will take a break like from the kids my husband will give me the morning off we have a church near us that they have confession in the morning and then adoration and rosary and then they do mass and so me and my husband will switch on and off like every week with that so every saturday we usually we'll like switch on and off anyway so my <laughs> so that's like the only time where i'm like oh like I can just like melt and be present with God. Um, and there are times where I'm like, I just wish that this was my life because it's so peaceful and so beautiful. And I actually, you know, it's interesting. I went to mass. This was a couple weeks ago. And I told the priest that I was just really struggling with my vocation of like, you know, motherhood and just, you know, doing just the constant giving and stuff and he like he kind of questioned me after he's like well let's let's talk about this like motherhood thing like do you feel like you picked the wrong vocation and i was like kind of shocked by his question and i was like oh no like i i love i love being a mom i love my husband so much um but it is so intensely hard it is a constant giving of myself and that is so hard and it can be isolating you know when eric's gone it can be um hard not having um an adult to talk to all the time or to relate to like but you know it is interesting because i realize like my life is not a convent as as beautiful as that would be as a vocation god chose me to live this this chaotic life of uh of motherhood where you know there's constant mess i'm constantly doing dishes i'm constantly folding clothes i'm constantly you know washing toilets you know all that stuff and that is my path to sanctity like even in the the isolating moments where i feel i feel like i'm alone in this those are times of prayer as well like those are the times that you know jesus the agony in the garden like those are the times where like i can really truly be with him and relate to him sure he didn't have children but he 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 had it on such a different level but he can still relate he still loves that i'm there you know he still loves i think god loves that we are taking care of his children 
and there's nothing better there's nothing more fulfilling for me than than being a mom as hard as it is, it is truly by far the hardest thing i've ever done is putting these five little kids above myself you know and not to say that i don't get like time off and even jesus you know he he needed to take a break as well like like i think we all kind of need that but i think that in the hardship is really a good thing i think that god made motherhood to be hard like to challenge us i mean honestly if it weren't for children I would be leading such a selfish life right now. I think about before I had children and how I could go anywhere, do anything. You know, I could do whatever I wanted. It was me, me, me. You know, even when I was newly married, like I, I could still get away with like doing what I wanted to do. But when you have children, it's like a screeching halt. You know, everything is about that little baby and making sure they're okay and healthy. And I think that we, can grow in so much holiness if we do motherhood the right way if we truly enter into our vocation and don't compare ourselves to other people um, but just embrace it and smile and enjoy it you know I I realized for me I love a clean house <laughs> and with five children it is nearly impossible to have a clean house and so I, I realized like I had to kind of take a step back and say okay do I want a clean house or do I want to uh, be with my children because I was no noticing a lot of my time had to do with like cleaning constantly cleaning doing laundry instead of like reading my children books or you know playing games with them or just snuggling with them like all my kids are snugglers and so they just want to like curl up on a couch and just like you know have me like brush my my hands through their hair and talk with them and so i realized that i have to kind of give up my like desire to have a very clean house to be a very good mother and can some people have it all yeah it's funny there was like this uh, meme on on instagram and it was it said something like you can either have a clean house happy children or be put together but you can't have all three <laughs> and i had to laugh because i was like there's actually kind of truth to that like i love being a homemaker but i i have to give that up for the betterment of my my family which means like it i don't necessarily have to let everything go but i need to not be as like perfectionist about my cleaning that i want to be and just to embrace it and you know when the kids come home from school kind of like stop it all and be really present to them and i think that they can tell they can tell when i'm like very distracted with housework and with other things that i just need to like be very present with them and that is my path to sanctity is being with them and sharing the faith and just being a light to my children they say like they've done a study and a lot of children look to their parents as an example of who god is which i find so fascinating so if like your parents are judgmental or you know mean or cruel that's kind of how they see god but if like their parents are loving and forgiving and merciful and kind and gentle that's how they see god which I, like to me that is so interesting and it makes me realize like what an influence i am on my children which seems like a no-brainer but like the day-to-day -day, those are the things that are really really going to speak to my children of who God is so I thought that was so fascinating and it, it really made me think of like oh yeah I want to be like the kind loving merciful but I also at the same time need to make sure that they're doing the right thing correct them when they're wrong and you know you know it's like it's very balanced right you have to really balance like being a sweet kind person but also being firm and teaching them the right way like that is what we are called to as parents so um so it's good it's it's a constant learning fit curve for me and i also realized that right now in the hardship that is my path to sanctity and i can either embrace it or i can be like escaping go on instagram and you know watch tv and do all those things but um but that's not really going to better my family that's not really my my path to sanctity um 
you know, not to say you can't take breaks and stuff, but it really is going to be a challenge when you live your life for God. And you know, if that's something that you're like, I, I don't know if I can do that. It's just, I want to escape every time my children are around, they overwhelm me, then pray ask God say God I feel so overwhelmed there are times that I with my five children feel so overwhelmed and I just want to go in the bathroom shut the door lock it and you know knowing that my house is all childproof but I do get overwhelmed very very easily and so I need to like take those little mini breaks and regroup and then go out and I am a much better mom when I do that so there's nothing wrong with that either but it's just like it's such a balance and doing it for God's glory. I think when we think of motherhood as God's glory, and these are God's children, I think we will treat our children so much differently, right? When we think, oh wait, these are God's children, I need to treat them like royalty. <laughs> um, and not to say they get their way their whole the whole time, but like they are so important, you know? and. Um, and stuff. So anyway, I hope this video helped you, but I just thought that was so funny that my son asked me if I had ever um, been lifted off the ground through prayer. Um, and I was like, you know what, maybe that's something relatable I can share. So anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.